Hi guys, welcome to part 16 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I have three simple words for you. Second teamed section. It is finally the time to show you the result of that mysterious second teamed section. Then you will also see some little surprises and some advancements of what is behind me right now. But due to the extent of the work involved in that second team section, uh, it is obvious that it will be the main focus of this part 16, with also some leap back into the past. Uh, many months into the past when I decided to go with this out of nowhere second team at section. But also, as I am a very, 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 very bad person in the first seconds, I will only show you, let's say, two seconds just a glimpse of the final result, then we will discuss about it later in this part 16. One, two. Hello guys, it is time for another leap into the past. I don't know why I love those leaps into the past, but today is late May 2024. Here I have a bunch of something strange, some little pieces of plastics, obviously 3D printed. They came out from the 3D printer, the filament 3D printer, just some hours ago. Some are very tiny, medium, normal, and then some other giant pieces there. Why? Uh, because I was lacking, I couldn't find anywhere on the market one of the main characters, characters that will be the focus of one of my new sections, the section dedicated to Ukraine. So I decided to model, but I wanted something different, not something static as all the figurines are. I needed something that could be place it as I want on the section. So the, these things, these strange things needed to have some articulations like we have in our body, like our bones are um, constructing our uh, skeleton. Okay, so this is maybe you can recognize. Hope not to make a mess. Yes, I did a mess. Oops, something pieces, this is like having a hand, some fingers, but you will understand in some minutes. I hope not having lost anything. And uh, this character needed to be placed in a strange way in my uh, section and right now I still don't know how I will place it because I first needed to build the, the main structure of the section then adding the characters I think two main characters and this one is particularly it is made by I think 50 different pieces of uh, plastic and right now I will try to assemble this mess here because uh, I want this to be articulated and the only way to make this articulated is to subdivide it in t those many dozens of pieces I repeat like our skeleton I will start with the little fingers there
about the second team at section? Well, the second team at section was more or less at this stage here uh, with the tank, with the pipes, etc. right here. Some weeks ago was here. And then there is the base. Um, behind the second team at section, there is on the right the mini lake and the waterfall, and on the left, uh, Rebecca's house section. In order to avoid this second team section to hide somehow part of uh, Rebecca's home section, I need to place this giant structure here, not in plain middle, but um, slide it a little towards the left, like that. And I need, sorry, slide it towards the right, not the left, come on, sorry guys. And uh, I will place it as close as to the end of the base as possible. Uh, then I will proceed with something more. But first, epoxy glue to components, five minute epoxy glue, some uh, epoxy, some spoons, some spoons, and then I will fix this base here, this uh, structure here to the base, but I also need to dig a little hole in here where the pipe will go, otherwise it will not fit. Okay, some more digging. I simply remove part of the base styrofoam. Like that, and it will fit with no problem. Let me prepare quickly some two components epoxy glue. Good, seven minutes later, yes, it has started curing correctly so. These should be at least fixed. Now, <coughs> you have already seen, I think, for a couple of seconds, the final result of this teamed section. Because I'm bad, I just shown you a couple of seconds of it. Uh, but now what I will add right now is the really uh, revealing half of this section, guys. I will add to this section, guys, this guy here. Okay this guy here and okay you know it it is the iron giant based on the uh, on the movie etc it took me uh, hell to model this and to make it posable and to perfect each components because uh, especially the fingers are too small and they break absolutely frequently. Uh, I will use these iron giant in the worst possible way. It will be shocking, yes but 
I want this to be shocking. Okay, guys. So I will try to uh, pose it as close as I can to what I want. And you will be shocked. Then I will add some other things, some other components, etc. Uh, I will surely add some, uh, some sand to it, okay? But the first thing I need to start uh, posing this guy here in the worst position possible and you will be sorry for it for him because it's not a it it's a him okay and I know you will be sorry for him and you know that I'm as bad as I can right now so let me let me work on this silently i will have some music obviously not so funny music right now i don't think so let me let me work on this Okay, I will need to start gluing some parts, otherwise I will never be able to, to get this properly staged. I will start by, by, yes, I will start with this pose here. So, the foot the right, uh, left foot and the right foot are fixed to the base as it is the head and the shoulder and the back. Shoulder, head and back are fixed to the giant structure there and uh, um, hips there and the feet are fixed to the base to the epoxy and to the epoxy glue, okay? Um, I need to, I think, to paint this, to prime this and paint it before proceeding because I want some sand and then as you may already have figured out, I will add also some junk, so some of the cocks I've uh, prepared making them rusty and everything else but I don't know, right now this 
is uh, uh, where I will go, but even further, guys, even further. It is Ukraine, guys. So out of time. So this in my Christmas village will fit perfectly because I'm nothing. I'm not in the actual or Victorian era temporal line. Ukraine, out of time. Uh, iron giant robots in plain Victorian era. Yes, following my temporal line yes so this will be iron i need to prime this and then hoping that the end will still be posable after that and because otherwise i need to add some sand but then cover the sand with something uh, otherwise the sand will be painted and I don't want the sand to be painted nor the cogs etc so I will prime this okay I will definitely prime this maybe I will also no I will not damage it and the mouth is something I will need to fix right now. Next step, guys. I've uh, primed and then airbrush painted the robot and the back tank, the back giant structure. Everything with the airbrush. So two layers of... Uh, primer, grey primer, polyurethanic grey primer and then two layers of copper for the back and the two layers of uh, oily steel uh, acrylic for the robot and uh, it is the color that gives the best result as not that shiny but metallic yes obviously i will need to do some adjustments after everything is set everything is posed but this is the starting point for next part i i obviously will add cogs and junks here and there but instead of starting with uh, sand as i told you in the in the previous step uh, i will go with some plaster initially to make some mounts and then adding the sand uh, in the second step why this because the the sand is not um, that compact I will need to wait at least two weeks uh, before the sand is compact enough to accept everything I want to add it will collapse the sand I need to mix sand, water and PVA glue if I want to make a stable compact compound but pva glue and water and sand takes ages to dry okay so i will need to start no i decided to start with some uh, plaster here and there and adding then as you have already understood cogs etc the ones i've prepared uh, months ago 
that I've been preparing for months, um, adding the uh, water, uh, peroxide water, so um, peroxide water and salt mix is it's since um, October, no, it's since uh, August that I'm preparing this, end of July, August, and now it's, it's plain, and October to November, etc. And the chains and everything else have uh, take the look I want, the junk look, the... Um, Oxidize, oxidation and uh, rust as made and where you don't have rust but you have uh, copper and the oxidation is the very degree like in this one this is not uh, uh, iron based but it is copper based this is brass okay uh, then uh, and l l let's proceed. I will prepare some batches of um, of uh, um, uh, plaster. My rapid, my five minutes working time plaster. Then I will proceed. Uh, maybe I ne also need to protect with some paper and. Um, the table otherwise I will I'm sure I will make a mess so let's uh, go with some plaster okay no one last thing why I use the airbrush because it is uh, the best way to have a regular layer of painting and that it is uh, the very very thin layer but global result is this one Plaster. Okay, so this is the trend I want to use, okay? And this is how I will proceed, okay? But obviously I also need to, to pause, um, to pause the rest, okay? And... Uh, and uh, I will uh, I will proceed the step by step. So next step is to try to pose correctly the uh, the arm here in a strange position, if possible. Okay. Thank you. 
guys while the the sand, the sand dry a little more let me add some texture to the robot and I will add some rust texture I will start with this rust texture here that it is medium then it, if it is too clear I will go with some dark okay and I must clean everything correctly okay let's go
good, good. Let me do some extra work in here. Okay. And let me have some more uh, some more vegetation in here. for vegetation now I will add the propeller let me check if it still works Okay, it still work. So now, well, guys, uh, obviously, the sand isn't completely dried yet, even after two days. But, uh, guys, this left corner here, completely naked. Why have I left this corner like that? not adding some chains, some cogs, some old tires. Uh, good question, but the, the answer is really simple. Because I will add another figurine here. This guy here will not be alone in this section here. As the figurine is the following one this little girl here guys that isn't a common girl a normal girl you can see that on the back i added some copper cogs on her back on her back sorry and then a giant winding key okay giant winding key there uh, like a watch uh, like an old pendulum to recharge her like she was or she is an automata and then also on her left ch cheek there i added uh, some chrome piece of metal it remembers me seven of nine the borg from star trek voyager guys yes i made some thing like that sorry about my tone but this is uh, maybe disturbing for someone then in her hand i added uh, a board uh, a giant board okay chrome as she was offering it to the giant uh, she has closed eyes like she is, she's praying or doing something uh, colors are somehow metallic and for retaining her air i used some piece of metal 
supposed to be a piece of metal painted with some um, oily steel, okay? Then red and iridescent silver for the dress, blue and iridescent silver, but dark tones. She is the only figurine and she is the only uh, thing in this whole section that has uh, vivid colors, a blue, red and everything else. Okay, guys, uh, some, some of you may hate me right now, but these need to be a section, a punch in the stomach, okay? Let me try to see if it fits there. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should rotate her a little more to let you see, yes. I will modify this a little more. Now, some epoxy. Component A and component B. Like that, guys. Five minutes of curing time and while this cure I will add some more uh, some more sand a little more sand here and then some uh, no it is like that but here some uh, mix of water and PVA glue Okay, let's go. And this is all for this second team section. Final recap of part 16 of the 2024 season. And that is the second team at the section complete. This one is the first team at section. That one is the third team at section. But this one is the only second teamed section guys let me close here and i'm already hearing many voices out there of disapproval but guys this is me this is a critique i think I want to criticize the society, maybe yes, maybe not, maybe this is only the, the creation of my absolutely crazy mind, but in Victorian time, in this Ukronia, the Iron Giant is no more, and the next generation is sorry for the ancestor so automata girl guys and I placed it like that because I want to let you see the front when the camera pass 
and that she is a sorrow but also the winding keys and etc new generation <laughs> small generation and that is the old generation it's a pity <laughs> to have it like that but it is also maybe what we are facing today we are the old generation that is the uh, AI <laughs> no the AI is very useful guys but I heard that during February during March all the polemics concerning the AI that for me future past and uh, I'm sorry for you guys but this is the second image section obviously I integrated it into the layout adding some sand all along and I've used the same technique I uh, poured some sand into uh, into a container then I uh, poured in on the, onto the sand uh, the mix of water and PVA glue then applied there like and that guys and uh, the propeller is uh, turning I painted it copper primed obviously copper then iridescent purple iridescent blue and iridescent yellow and it is uh, still not perfectly vertical because I want these to be going up down up down okay and uh, that is the propeller turning around these are the movement as the three dancer are uh, dancing for the memory of the iron giant constantly and uh, what else guys if you are wondering <laughs> how I mix at color this is not color when I first started um, sorry guys I was saying when I first started the process of making this second team at section uh, some months ago I submerged the, the iron base the cogs into a mix of a peroxide and a salt this in order to facilitate to start the oxidation of the iron and when the iron oxidate it produce a orangish a brownish color and then once I've removed the cox from this mix I kept the um, the mix of peroxide and salt and today I uh, pour the sum of it onto the sand so the sand is still wet there and uh, um, it will take uh, at least a couple of uh, of days to harden a little more to um, uh, to to dry I also modeled the stone steps for the little girl uh, the little automata girl to climb and uh, homage honor the ancestor there then uh, you have seen me also after priming and painting with the airbrush uh, with the um, oily steel color I then used a mix uh, developed by a Spanish company that simulates uh, rust and then applied it with a mini tool that is a little sponge and also some of the um, verdigris applied where I have copper uh, the, um, I also added some rust on the tank because uh, where uh, you have the junction between the tank and the rest it was a soldered and some of the soldering method contains some iron that will obviously uh, rust I'm sorry for the uh, for the ivy getting out from the mouth but this is our nature take uh, control of everything if we <laughs> leave it there so 
nature so vegetation will always win upon everything they will it will resist upon everything and uh, the chain i posed it like that because it it is the most in natural pose i could i could do uh, with the leg posed like that impossible uh, then the end going at the other side and this one too and the mouth open uh, with the iron giant looking towards the sky as if uh, he was wondering will i go there and then uh, okay you haven't seen me using uh, some uh, old tires um, for <laughs> aging them because they were already aged when i received them so no need to get them um, ravaged no not ravaged to get them ruined by the mix of peroxide and salt that would have caused the rubber to to disgregate to come unusable uh, the chain there is pretty good result with the rest like that the keys uh, the winding keys this is a winding key there is another one there so if this is the past this is the recent past this is the future all have in common the winding keys and that's why i used some winding keys that are not uh, proper to some cogs like those one i'm not i will not uh, i haven't used the, the uh all the um, uh, the junks i wanted uh for example i haven't used the the spring and uh, that would have been a perfect couple with the winding keys because uh, they were too too big and not perfect for these so please look at the effect that when i added the mix of water and pva glue to on top of the sand <laughs> the the mix of the water has continued or is continuing to um, to to get the um, the brass oxidate because you see that the sand is greenish right now all around all around it i've added some sand here and there to integrate everything where it needs to be and for me sorry once again a bad thing the rust is somehow some of his blood okay getting there the rust the water getting some parts getting some iron away dissolving some iron until it will be no more there iron giant not a steel giant steel is more resistant to oxidation to rust but this is the iron giant no steel so no carbon in the uh, um, in the mix with uh, the iron so it will rust until it will uh, disappear the only thing that are uh, still movable are the fingers guys uh, and everything else a perfect state for the girl everything is dark between a gray green, dark green a brown a dark orange etc but the automata girl is a vivid color um, red and um, a recent silver mix then a blue and then some uh, gray and light blue for the contour for the contour of the dress and then also in front there and i hope that the chrome chrome uh, bolt is still visible there and uh, this is, i told you this would have been a punch in the stomach for me and that is the reason why i couldn't add a place at the school right there i can't have obviously i also will need some um some walls there uh, and then an entry here with something more there 
and I think uh, I have tried to integrate even the the trees there into this second team uh, section ivies etc so the only thing that is out of his place sorry out of his place is the hook there that I it is uh, lead not uh, iron base and not copper base so I couldn't get it <laughs> oxidate okay the rest where I have uh, some copper uh, with with the brass there on those cogs and where I have the iron everything has made perfectly sense let me show you from this angle too where she has on her left cheek the the bracket let's let's call it the bracket but i wanted to, to simulate a seven of nine so it is a mix for me everything new everything ruined and present past okay for me is that giant 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 i could have a fit there i think two or three buildings maybe more two or three buildings with some gardens etc okay and the second team section doesn't hide rebecca's section in any way and by the way guys little surprise the bench and the hole gray hole i will take it and show it to you so this is so this is the whole guy a gray hole with some gray uh, if i don't place it like that it will be impossible to let you see but the hole is a gray and brownish and white uh, yellow eyes is and a brown and then the bench is a pure wood because Rebecca's can control the nature so why not why not making by yourself a bench like that that is pure nature with some flowers also all around and for me this is this was the only way to add an hole I promised to add also an old uh, um, not an old old but a wise old and for me gray and white is <laughs> is that symbol of wise old and it is on the way it was too dangerous to place him on the iron fence iron fence fence sorry so I had to model the bench and to place the hole on top of it and everything else. Now I think it is almost complete. Uh, I still need, I still have some place there. I will add something more, etc. And guys, the graveyard is painted and complete. I also add some uh, grass on uh, on in there and uh, i don't know if i can approach a little more to let you see but everything is there painted etc i use the some gray some maroonish <clears throat> the same blue as the roof for the top and instead of using the gold like in this case i use the some silver for uh, for the for the roofs and now it is complete I also joined the, the Santa's level to the mountain now the mountain and the uh, Santa section are, have continuity uh, I still need to paint it but I will need to let dry the plaster I used there and then what else guys uh, oh i also made the space for the wires etc but uh, here on the left side nothing has changed nor on the right side 
maybe I can show you the difference. She is a little girl, okay? She's not an adult, she's a little girl. This is the scale of the <clears throat> normal figurines and she is a little girl after all. So more, much more hard to, to accept that an automata little girl is that, is that respectful for the ancestor. Uh, have I told you everything? Have I forgot something? Uh, maybe yes. Oh yes, something else. Um, the two uh, stone stalactite that, that you have seen in part 15 are no more there. Yes, there are, but I shortened them, the, one, the two ones getting down from the ceiling there from the from the roof the ceiling uh, now I've, uh, I've replaced them and uh, used some plaster instead of uh, some um, styrofoam so they are modeled in plaster <laughs> that is a navy section due to the fact that I used almost two kilograms of plaster to add and I'm surprised at how resistant are those two columns to support the weight of that second team, uh, second, the, that Santa's section that still miss buildings and everything else. From the side, from the top, guys, and from the back too, if you wanted to see, but the back is not important as the front, as you can imagine. But I gave also continuity to to the back and to the back like like that, guys. Okay, sorry. I know uh, I shouldn't do that, but uh, right now I haven't placed the the, uh, the camera slider, so it is the only way to show you everything. Also, a part of it, the leg is not missing, but it is under the sand and covered by the chain. Uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe this will, <laughs> will get me in trouble. Uh, I will wait for your comments, but this is my vision. And uh, it's not the worst section, not the worst image section you will see. This one was too edulcorate for this season, but I couldn't uh, do anything more hard than an hard rock band for Alice in Wonderland. Come on, a rabbit can never be a killer, for example, and I'm still missing mm, the, ba the bass player. Uh, but here I went totally crazy guys and all the other sections that are still missing dessert that needed to be accomplished the fourth and the fifth that are <laughs> you are wondering where you will place them uh, I don't have a place no but there they will be moving um, section so integrate to the what is already there in the layout and what else guys nothing I <laughs> this took me so long to to complete and you can understand you can understand all the work it is behind this team and section started so many months ago and it was also an adventure to try to model um, the Iron Giant trying to make him posable because I always modeled static things uh, figurines etc buildings are pure static they cannot be posed but the Iron Giant is the only thing I've ever modeled i would ever produced that is um, Posable that was posable 
now it is ruined forever and i'm sorry but when i will have to dismantle this i think it i will ruin it completely unless i will cut this there and remove it because adding the sand there etc i cannot preserve this second teammate section and it is a pity i would have loved to keep it <laughs> for the years to come but it will be for this 2024 season and only for this 2024 season see you for the outro guys <laughs> okay mac if you really think so about me then prepare the steak is the only way i know to get rid of heretics a little girl an automata little girl a robot little girl an ai little girl paying respect to some ancestors to some dead ancestors is free will but if we place her winding key behind her back where she can't reach it then it's not free will and we must not <laughs> fear it Humans, we humans, are not builders, are not creators. We have always been enslavers. We still are. We will always be. <laughs>